In this short video, or as short as I can make it, we're going to talk about bowlbound college football and how to install the real-world mod that was made by a guy named Icy uh, years ago, and how to get that in, in uh, downloaded and put into your bowlbound for Steam because it's a little different. Hey guys, RC here. So, assuming that you have Bullbound, if you don't, you can download it direct from the developer or via Steam. Either way, and I believe they're both the same price. I don't think there's a price cut. But basically, uh, where I'm going to recommend that you go is SimNation.net. Now, this is an unpaid advertisement for them. Uh, I am a member at SimNation. I actually am on the uh, as one of the administrators on the uh, on the forums, and uh, there are, this is an online community is what this is. In it's online leagues for various sports. There are college football, pro football. Uh, they're just uh, they just finished the first season with a college soccer. Uh, you know, with, with the universities. Um, there are a lot of leagues that are defunct uh, and no longer around. But uh, there's also, uh, so college football, pro football are the big ones. Uh, various games are used. Bullbound is used. Uh, Wolverine Studios. Uh, Draft A Sports College bat football is used. Uh, Draft A Sports Pro Football is, is used for one of the leagues. So if you're looking for an online multiplayer league, I highly recommend Sim Nation. Go into the league list, pick the league. Uh, Weekend Warriors College Football is the one I'm in. Uh, GDCFL is another one. They're both run by the same guy. Uh, he is actually the uh, owner of Sim Nation. Not the original. It's been handed down a couple of times. Uh, I actually ran it for a short period of time. Uh, until real life intervened. But um, anyway, unpaid solicitation. If you're looking for an online league, we've got some teams for you. But how do we get IC's download? Well, you come to the download tab, and there is IC's real world college mod from 2008. Of course, Bullbound was released in 2005. Uh, there is also, if you're interested, and I assume this is still on here and supported, but uh, Kenny, Wan, Kenny Juan Chazote is a former member. Uh, he's dropped off the face of the earth. I hope he's all right, Kenny. Uh, but he ran a league here for a short time, and uh, he actually created a Division II mod, so for the smaller schools. So if you're interested in that, there's also a mod for that. The, the guidelines for installation will be exactly the same. So when you download it, you'll open it up. It'll be a zip file, and it'll open up as an application. When you go into it, this is the default location for the installation. So if you bought the game from Gray Dog directly, that's probably where you have it installed. But this one's going to be for Steam in particular. So Steam, as you know, has its own installation file, uh, its own, you know, its own path. And for me, you have to go find it. You have to know where that's at. But for me, uh, that's on my D drive. And then we go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Bullbound College Football. And then click OK, and then it'll unzip. Now, I've already got it installed, so we're going to back out of that. But I am going to go into it over here for you. Let's blow this up so you can see it better. So you'll notice inside my Bullbound folder, there's a second Bullbound College Football folder. This is what IC's installation created. And what's in there is a graphics folder and a pstats.dat file. Now, I've created this original file, so what I did is I went back into Bullbound. I copied the graphics and the pstats dat file. I copied those out, and I, put those, I pasted those into the original files, just so I had them as a backup. So these are the original ones that came with the game. 
Then I copied the new graphics and P stats from today. And then I went back into the main full bound folder here and I pasted them and it overwrote the graphics folder and the P stats. So if we go in and look at the graphics here, you can see that you know it has the real logos, Arizona, Arizona State, Memphis, uh, Louisville, Louisiana Tech. So it has all the real helmets now that you didn't have before. And then what you get when you go into the game and you create a league, instead of having instead of having the fake nicknames, now you have the real nicknames for each team. Now remember, this is going to be a little outdated because there's been conference movement and realignment and those kind of things. But this is basic as of 2008. So, and it may have been updated a little more recently, but it's still going to be five to ten years out of date. Uh, but, you know, you have, instead of, uh, I believe when I looked at the base game before I installed this a minute ago, it was the Clemson Lions, the Florida State Warriors. Now, what's good is if you don't want the download, you can go in and edit each one of these and you can pick the you can pick the conference and you know change that and everything else and you do that right here so we could go to the big 10 and you know we could change all these now the names are all correct because i've i've already installed ic's pack but that's how you install it you go to your steam slash steam apps slash common Unzip it there, and then you have to go in and pull out that graphics and P stats file and paste those in and overwrite the existing ones. I recommend making a backup in case there's a problem, because there's always that, op that chance. But that's how you get it in to get the real team names and the real logos and the real bowl names as of that time into your game on Steam. If you don't have Steam, if you bought it from the developer and it's installed directly to your computer without Steam, you just follow the same process just when you go to unzip the file. If you installed it to the default location, it's already prompting you to install it to unzip to that file. If you have moved it to a you know different place or a different drive, you just have to go in and find it just like we did for Steam, but go in and find where you've got Bullbound installed on your computer and unzip it the same way. Hope that helps you guys. And uh, again, if you are interested in a multiplayer league, come take us on because we're waiting. This is a, our league has been, uh, our, our, our league has been around since the game was released originally in 2005. So very long standing league, of course. It's a much older game. So, a lot of vacant teams, but we've got a lot of owners that have been around a long, long time. And, uh, you know, we'll help you learn the game. There's on the forums, we've got a lot of uh, information to help new, new players. So, if you're new to the game, I highly recommend you join the forums if anyway, just to check that information out, most of which I contributed. Thanks so much. Smash that like button if you like what if, if this helped you out or if you like what I'm doing here. Subscribe if you're new and don't forget we have daily uploads, uh, mostly Football Manager Monday through Saturday, but we also have some off uh, off stuff going on uh, all the time. So uh, hope you drop by the channel uh, again in the future. Have a good one. Bye.